so we're sponsoring this. Do yeah. it in the yeah, We're, we're happy to be a sponsor. Yo, I'm happy to have you guys. You guys were at the last one. You were a sponsor of the last one. I pumped your lead sponsor on this one. Yeah, I think it worked out really well last yeah. time. We had great seats, so that worked out for us. And you got good seats this time, too. So I'm <laughs> excited for that. So uh, I guess go. let's go into a little bit more about the bands. Obviously, there's six bands. Six bands. Uh, we got Kobe Mountain. Those right. guys um, were actually at the last one. Just super cool guys. They're in a rock band, and they're really stoked to be a part of the show. I'm glad to have them. Like they're just such incredible dudes, and it's really fun to have guys that are appreciative of wanting to be on the show. On the show, uh, Jeremy Johnson and the Bleeding Keys are going to be on the show. These guys are killer. They are so good. They're super nice guys. Just busting their butts around the city of Indy, just playing any show they can get their hands on, and just really just playing and giving their heart out every night. Uh, Eyes on Fire, those guys are really good. Those guys are actually getting a lot of airplay on X103, which is pretty cool. They're, uh, X103 is actually a sponsor of the 6 for 6. Um, they're, they're pretty excited to be getting some airplay of the local bands. And they do a show on Sundays where they have all local bands they right. play. And they're going to feature all six bands the week before and the week of on that show. So they'll get some airplay for all the acts. Uh, the Red Wire, I'm stoked about that because these guys are going to be doing their CD release party that night. So like, not only are they going to be there, they're going to be... You know, giving out their CDs, selling their CDs. If you buy a ticket from them for six for six, they're throwing in a copy of the CD with it. So and I don't want to, I don't want to promote cheaper tickets, but they're giving them away for five bucks instead of six and a CD. So uh, nice. the American Night, those guys are going to be on the bill. These guys are just a hoot to hang out with. Like, there's no better way once you hang out with these guys to explain them than a hoot. They're just Alan Johnson from Static Shack Studios, who's a sponsor on the show. He did some work with them and. They're just they're fun and they're kind of like a country rock infusion and they just have a blast on stage. And Grace at Arms, they were actually the last band to get thrown on the bill. Those guys have done such a great job promoting the show and they're just they're super nice. They're actually from Newcastle and they play a show every Friday night at a, at a drive-in theater in Newcastle. It's pretty sick. I haven't been out there because it's like a two-hour drive, but I need to go check that out. One for the drive-in, but two to see those guys perform at the drive-in. But uh, it's kind of like a staple for Newcastle, but. Uh, it's going to be a good night of live music and all the bands are from, from the indie area and I'm keeping everything local, all local sponsors, all local bands, local blogger, local everything. So, Local promotion. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and uh, again, where, when and where? It's actually on Saturday, August 6th. Doors are at 7. It's at Birdie's Bar and Grill on 71st and Keystone. And uh, it's going to be a fun night and I'm looking forward to everybody coming out. I'm hoping to, to top the numbers from the last one. I do these every six months. West Coast Tacos was in the in the parking lot of the last one. A whole bunch of people just came for the tacos, didn't even stick around for the show. But hopefully, people grabbed their tacos on their way in, you know, so grab some food and head on in. 